Hello and welcome to a video tutorial from matthawkins.co.uk. In this tutorial I'll show how you can join multiple ABI files together using Virtual Dub. Virtual Dub is a free application and you can get it from virtualdub.org and if you click on the downloads link in the menu and then Virtual Dub at SourceForge you will then be able to download the latest build and at the moment the latest build is 1.9.11 or you can get hold of Virtual Dub Portable from portableapps.com and this will give you Virtual Dub but it won't require an installation which is great because it means you can copy it onto a USB stick and carry it around with you so I'm going to run Virtual Dub and here's the interface an area here for the video and a timeline along the bottom I'm going to open my first video file and I'm going to choose this one here and this is 100 frames of video just a short example and in order to stitch together the other video files I've got I'm going to click this button here which will skip the cursor to the end of my first video and you'll see here it's on frame 100 now I'm going to go up to file append AVI segment and I'm going to select my second clip and I'm also going to make sure auto detect additional segments by file name is checked at the bottom here now what that means is virtual dub is going to look for files that begin with the same file name but simply have a different number at the end in a sequence so what this means is by selecting clip 2 it's also going to find this file name here with 3 at the end if I had other files with 4, 5, 6 etc at the end it would also find those so by selecting one clip making sure that's checked it will pick up any additional clips in my sequence obviously if you don't want that to happen then just uncheck that I'm going to click open and what we should see is there's the first 100 frames of the first clip it's then pulled in the next 100 frames from the second clip and the third clip is then on the end as well now obviously this is a very quick way of stitching together a lot of AVI files all you have to do is just get the file names right and just number them sequentially and if you need to stitch together five files, ten files, twenty files, virtual double, just pull them in all in one go. And I'm just going to do a quick check here. And there we go, I've got 300 frames in total, which is what I was expecting. Then I'm going to go to video. I'm going to check that video is on direct stream copy. I'm going to check that audio is on direct stream copy. And what that means is when I save this combined file back to my hard drive it won't attempt to recompress it which would take a long time so I'm then going to go to save as AVI and I'm going to give my combined clip a name and I'm going to click save and because it's not doing a full recompress that shouldn't take that long because it's just streaming the data straight out to the file I'm going to close this file and as a quick check I'm going to do open and I'm going to click the full file and I'm quickly going to check that contains exactly what I expect it to contain and there we go it's done now the only thing to bear in mind with this technique is if your AVI file contains variable bitrate mp3 audio you cannot use this technique to stitch the API files together so just bear that in mind other than that it's a very very quick way of stitching together API files and I use it a lot for stitching together uh, mini DV camcorder footage or for splicing together clips I've recorded using Cam Studio which is the software I'm currently using to record this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please remember to click the like button and to share it with your friends on your favourite social networking sites. Thank you.